Hey guys, this is Game of Cow playing Super Mario Star Road, and we're going up to the Lone Tree. This, I do remember, actually, is all the way over here. Because, yeah, there was the rotating platforms and stuff, and that is one big freaking lag, like, thing there. I have no idea what on earth was going on, but, yeah, there was a huge amount of slowdown there. <laughs> I don't understand why. Oh, well. So yeah, this stage is probably going to be like the first one I would legitly die at quite a bit because it's not that straightforward to be completely honest. There's a lot of trickiness involved in this. It's it's um mostly because of the platform, you know, the right over space like that. It's gonna generate some rather awkward situations. I should probably use Mario account for that. But, you know, it it's still going to generate some rather weird things, and it's basically going to make this kind of actually hard. Which, yeah, as I said, it's um this stage five is fairly tricky. Like, it's more condensed than the original stage five, but it's still harder, I think. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find that there's some um, a lot more difficulty to be had in this one, and I don't know how I'm going to get across there. Huh. I was expecting that running jump to work, but apparently it doesn't. So I might have to do some form of, like, triple jump trickery or something to get across there then, because, yeah. My original idea does not seem to be working very well, basically, so I guess I'm just going to have to try a different approach. Which I reckon is going to be that, so I can get up here and then long jump to this one. Yes, but you need to be a bit more confident with your long jump. Right, okay. Mamma mia! Let's go! Yeah, because that's all you really need to do for it. You just need to be very slightly more confident in your jumping prowess. Which is fine, and then this, I think I think is a standard jump, but I'm just going to double jump it just to be completely safe, and there we go. Not exactly that hard in the end, it just took a couple of tries to get going, I suppose. To be expected, I'm not expecting to get every star instantly, that's not how it's supposed to be. Haunted ride for red coins, okay, so red coins do indeed exist in this place. Oh boy, um... I obviously did expect to see red coins at some time, but I wasn't expecting it to be this type of thing, and I was really hoping they would not appear up here, because this place is very, very scary, and... Yeah, the, these tiny platforms here, they are rather fatal, to say the least, because you can't actually grab onto them, and I am amazed that that worked. Seriously, that was humongously impressive. But, um, yeah, this is really, really dangerous to try and jump over for that sort of reason. Horrible, horrible, horrible place. I'm going to have to go up there for the 100 coin star though, so I don't know. It's not a pretty situation that I will say without too much effort. Because that happens. A lot. Oh, you can grab on those. Okay, so they're just very, very picky to try and grab onto. Alright, I can, I can see that. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I can see it nonetheless. Yeah, because that's basically... Oh, God, you've got to... Oh, no. No, do not want that. Goomba, what are you doing up here? Seriously, what are you doing? You're just there by yourself. Are you a 
emo goomba or something just being all loner like because seriously there's no other reason you would need to be up here what is actually this way though I don't remember actually going up here before and I am now morbidly curious even if I really shouldn't be that's where the coin star of redness is going to appear okay I can deal with that as much as I might not want to I can still deal with it anyway. There's a thing up there. I'm gonna need to take the platform to get that, I suppose. But before we do that, let's try and get ourselves some blue coins and fail horribly at getting ourselves some blue coins because, yeah, that was pretty terrible. I think it should be possible to run and get all of those, but it's not going to be the easiest of things ever to do. And now, we take the platform. I wonder how this is really going to go, because seriously, I did not think that you could change it so that red coins only appeared in the star that you wanted them to, though. I really did not see that coming, and that's almost surprising. Like, the red coins are not usually here, so it is a very odd situation to see them appear only at the select star, and I forgot actually that platforms disappeared there. I'm kind of lucky that stayed as it did. That boo, I'm totally not getting that coin ever, I'm sorry to say. It's just one of those things that is not going to happen, and there we go. I don't know if I needed to triple jump that. No, oh, no, 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 oh, bollocks. Um. Yeah, about that. <laughs> um, can I even get... I don't think I can actually get back there now. That is unfortunate, to say the least. I'm gonna try, but I seriously don't think I actually can make this jump, and this would be the only way I could get back anyway. Oh wow, I can do it. Right, okay, so let's see if I can get back, and if I can... Well, I guess we will probably reconvene if I land on the platform once I'm done. Haha, -ha, take that. That is probably the best way to do it. But yeah, I'll, I'll get back over there and meet you there. So many boo sounds. So much booness. Yes, that is exactly what we are hearing all the way over there because there's a whole ton of boos and they are pretty scary but we're not going anywhere near them so they're not quite so scary anymore. Is that a regular boo up there or is that a large king size boo because it looks like a regular one. Oh crap Mr. Coin! Ah no! Oh god freaking damn it now I've got to do this all over again because of the... Ah! Can I get it by wall kicking though? That would save a little bit of effort. Come on. Get out of here. Oh! The, 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 uh. Why am I so scared of this? This is not supposed to be that hard. Yes, I can get it by that. This is not supposed to be that sort of scary. Why am I so afraid of this? Seriously. I want to try and get at least the last other red coin though if I can. Because that would be kind of nice right about now, but I don't know where it is, so... It's up there. Okay, I don't think I can get that from here, actually, so... You know what? Let's try desperately to get back to the start again, and we'll see, you know, about getting to the platform, etc. No, I knew that was going to happen. It's really, really, really hard to try and jump off of those things. Seriously. One of the hardest things I've seen in the game so far, actually. Yeah, and that's what happens when it goes wrong.
Okay, that's one thing out of the way, at the very least. I was sort of worried about the 100 coin star in this one, that's why I decided I would pretty much go for it just now. I have no idea how I'm going to really portray this, because I was silent throughout the whole thing. I think I might just go ahead and speed this up with some sort of music-based thing. Obviously you'll have known by now, because I've already shown that. But, um, yeah, that is that is something which I need to think about. I didn't even use the blue coin switch either, so there's at least another 20 odd. How the hell does that work? How the hell does he run straight into... No, if you run into a wall, it does that. How the hell do you manage to fall off there? What? That's just... No! Well, whatever, I got the 100 coin star, so now I've just got to try and do this slow freaking ride again. So, yeah, maybe cue more of this whole, like, cuddy sort of thing. I don't know exactly how I'm going to deal with this all yet, but, yeah. It's not that hard once you've learned how to do that, basically. That part is not the difficulty. But yeah, how does that actually work? That that just doesn't seem right. That uh, I don't know what happened there at all. I don't know what part of the physics engine screwed up there, but something clearly did, and that's just annoying. You know. Yes, you would know because it's it's there, and I bet some people are probably just laughing their asses off at that, but. At the same time, I know some people won't be, so... yeah. <laughs> See the shadow there. Oh, goodness. Um, boo, what are you doing on my platform? Go away. You don't belong on my platform, I'm telling you. So, yeah, that, that uh, dude is of the opinion that I shouldn't be on this platform either, but you know... Nuts to him, I am on this platform whether he likes it or not, Mario Cam is really being too unstable for me here. So, yeah. I never liked it when I was playing the original game actually, I always quite strongly disliked Mario Cam because it never worked very well for me. The zoomed out one was okay sometimes, but it just did not 
work consistently in my favour. Anyway, this is just about done at this point, so I probably won't be speeding anything up here actually, even though I maybe should because it is kind of backtracking and therefore not necessarily that entertaining. Come on, rail platform, show me the height that will get me this last coin, because you know I still need to get it. You do know I still need to get it, because I'm telling you I still need to get it. And... No, what? What the hell happened there? What the freaking hell just happened? I, 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 what? I did a long jump that looked more like a freaking crawl or something. That was, that was weird. Definitely didn't expect that sort of glitch to happen, but oh well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get these coins anyway because I might as well. I'm not really gonna get too many of them still, but it doesn't matter that much, so... Yeah, that's that's a thing. I'm pretty sure that this is non-fatal, and we have got the red coin star for this place. Thank God for that. That was actually rather hard, I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And hey, 70 stars, we get a thing coming up, and yes, we must be close, but we still have one last one to do here, and it's Angry Eye, so... We're gonna be fighting the Eye Boss, I guess, and it's over here. Wow, okay, this is going to be a bit of an awkward fight. Why is there a platform down there? Is that because that's where the star's gonna be? Because, oof. Yes, the eye boss is going to be a bit more annoying because it's on this rotating disc thing. This is actually rather interesting in the sense that you, these things are usually on, you know, rotating around anyway, but to fight one of the, this thing on a rotating platform is going to be rather difficult, actually. I'm not going to lie, but eh. If we can just get it to follow me, then it would be fine, but it doesn't seem interested in that as a prospect. So what am I missing here? Have I got to jump at it first? Because that would be awkward, but I could sort of see it. But as it stands, I don't understand why the thing is not really following me when I try to, you know, invoke its attention. It's just going round and not really doing anything, and I don't... Oh, there it is! See, now it's following me! And I still die anyway, because I couldn't quite see behind me. Well, th there's no point in really cutting any of this out, because the thing is right at the start of this, so it's all just... Yeah, getting its attention is the hardest part, I think, and once you've got that, this is not going to be that bad, so yeah, it is basically just that. That is it. That is literally all it is. And yes, the star does appear right down there, which is typical, but not hard to get. So yeah, that is this place done. Kind of interesting, I guess. And well, I'm going to do one last quick thing thing before I wrap this episode up, because I am kind of interested to see if there is something else in this bit near the start. You know, I was um, I was of the opinion before that this area had like nothing left to it, but I'm not so sure now that, you know, from course 10 we had that whole triple jump thing, I'm not so sure now that there's nothing else over here. But I don't know, I'm just, I'm just curious to see if a triple jump would actually accomplish anything over here. I just need to get it set right. So... Yes, I am convinced I can get up on that, um, on the, the castle there now. Now that I know of the thing which is known only as the triple jump technique. I am convinced I can get up there, and that is something I really want to do, and I'm going to do that before the end of this part. You can guarantee it, because I'm just going to do that, yeah. And that looks like it's going to be a cannon, okay. But what, what else is on this roof before I go ahead and 
ride in the cannon trail to nowhere, there's, there's not really much of anything, is there? No, which is a bit unfortunate, but the fact that there is a cannon up here means we were supposed to be able to reach this. So this is something I'm interested in. Because this will let us reach a toad, which is good. Could also probably reach up there, but I'll do that in a minute, because I reckon if I can stay on this, which I can, this toad is probably going to give us a star. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. Yep. That's what I thought, so that's why I wanted to try and get up here, you know? Star power, basically, it's a good thing. And yeah. That's two toads which have stars. I'm, I'm, there's a coin up here. Okay. Um, I know there's, there should be one more if the original game's thing is intact. So, I guess we'll be finding another one at some point. That would be nice. But anyway, can we get on top of this bit? Because I reckon we should be able to... What is that? That's weird, man. That's some sort of strange graphics sort of glitch there. But can we get up here? Probably. Probably is what I'm going to say. But ouch. That hurt, and I think that's going to end this part here. So this has been Game of Cow playing Super Mario Star Road, and join us next time when we try and get on the roof, I guess.